I've been really lucky because I have worked with and for some really extraordinary leaders. And when I think about the facets of their personality that always struck me and frankly were the biggest motivators for me, the single biggest item was that I felt like I was seen. I felt like they saw me for exactly who I was and they appreciated what was maybe unique, right, or different about me, and that that was something that they actually amplified, right? I, I didn't need to fit into a box, right? I, I, they wanted me to contribute all the value that I could in the way that I could best, and I felt very safe in those environments. I think in addition to that, there's the, these principles of truth and hope. Really spectacular leaders who I've always admired in my career don't shy away from either one of those. It can be an extremely difficult situation, but everyone in the organization is treated like a professional, like an adult. We don't have to hide from the challenges that we may be facing because it's that same collection of people who need to get us out of it. And those leaders were extremely authentic and transparent in that way, and in many ways empowered their teams to help carve their way out. And, and for those teams that I was a part of where we were navigating really difficult things, those were the leaders that I stuck with and knew that we would come out the other side because there were never gonna be surprises. We were always on the same page. I have a lot of role models. I'm, I'm a diverse person and so there's a lot of people I look at for inspiration. There is a, there's a woman who has been in my life for years who I think in, in many ways, she probably doesn't even know this, has functioned as almost a second mother figure to me, but has been one of the greatest mentors I've ever had in my life. She's a woman by the name of Anne Legrand. And she found me, right, and I kind of you know aspired to be noticed, but found me in the early days of my time at Watson Health. And she pushed me harder than anyone has ever pushed me professionally to do things at scale and at an operating level that I just had never seen. And the best part of her leadership style was her, her unwavering focus on the people and her, the feeling of unconditional love that I had and still have from her. But Anne's in, you know, really unique and she's an intense person too. And for all of that unconditional love, she is the first to show up with the tough version of it. And she helped me learn, I think, management, particularly executive management at scale, and she showed me. And she showed me by building one of the highest functioning senior executive teams I've ever been a part of. And she did it with us. And as a result, I would say anyone you know, that I've had the privilege of meeting who's also worked for her over the years says the same thing. You know, Anne is special, and I, I credit a lot of my professional career success to her as a mentor. I'm a continuous learner in all form factors of my life, and I'm always exploring new things. So I decided that I wanted to learn how to make cakes. So I learned how to do fondant and I built cakes. And I, I love sharing those experiences with the people that I work with because you know not all of them go well. And I also tried to break off sewing and building, you know, and making dresses for my children. That was that was not nearly as successful as the cakes. I think that's probably the thing that my team members would say about me is that I I'm a person who's always looking to be challenged and I bring that to work as well.